Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up one of my experimental project which is an auto-translator bot for Discord. The working of the bot is based on the idea to help people who cannot speak English or any other language. So this is my repository and I'm going to clone this repository using git clone command. Uh, to do so, I will just open my VSC and use git clone command. Let me tell you how the bot works. So basically the bot checks the database every time the message is sent and if the message has the user key then only it will translate the message which means it will only translate the user message if user had enabled the translation. So in this file we have simple translation command which will allow you to enable or disable the uh, translation for yourself. Okay so now here we have data.json file which will store the database related to the translation and then we have language.json file which have all the language name with their short name now let's head to the configuration file of the bot as you can see it contains three keys which are token prefix and base language I'm sure you are familiar with token and prefix, so let's just fill them up. So what is base language? It is the language in which all the other languages will be translated. Like if some user speaks Hindi, then it will translate that Hindi message to the base language, which is English here. Okay, now let's install the packages by using npm install command. This will install all the required package. Ok now let's run the bot. So bot is working nice and fine and the setup is completed but before ending the video I would like to tell you something. While I was creating this translator bot I faced the issue where it translates emoji and mentions. Like if I send emoji or mention someone then it translates that too which caused the failure in the translation. So to fix the issue what I did was that I replaced all the emoji and mention with their id and after translation I reversed this process. Yeah, here we have the fix of this issue, but the same thing happened with the real emojis. They cause in failure in translation. So this time I used the package known as node emoji and what it did was that it replaced all the real emojis with name like smile emoji with smile name. After that I replaced that emoji name with a random number so that I could replace it with emoji again after translation. This is it. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.